Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our fourth video on our AutoCAD Getting Started series. And what we like to do, what I would like to do in this video, is kind of show you how to make modifications to our existing D-size layout. What we have here is a template file that's been opened in, uh, in, in AutoCAD. And what we're going to be doing is making some modifications to this. We're going to get to get into a lot of detail here in AutoCAD. So we're going to take a lot of the template files, a lot of the things, a lot of the settings are already set in AutoCAD and kind of use those to our advantage. And as we've been doing so far up to now, just making some small modifications in order to make it a little bit more friendly, a little bit more usable for our needs here in this class. So what we're going to be doing here, and if you go to the D-Size Layout tab, let's go ahead and click on that, and let's click on the title block itself. The title block is nothing more like a, like a picture frame around the model space window, which is our viewport window. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And what you notice is it kind of goes into a grayscale, kind of a dashed uh, format. That kind of means that it is a block. This is a block with attributes because we've got a couple different attribute uh, grips down here. I'm not going to go into any further explanation of what those are. We'll save that for another video for now. But it is a block, and a block is nothing more than a drawing within a drawing. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to edit the drawing that's within the drawing. This allows us, this drawing within a drawing and putting a block in a drawing allows us to insert objects that uh, don't get modified. So we can't accidentally change uh, the scope of something that's been drafted. It just comes in as one object, and an object can be moved around, but it can't be, there's not a whole lot in the way the modifications that go beyond that. So what we have here is a tile block that is a block itself. And the way we get to that block is if we go to Insert, the Insert tab on our ribbon, we'll go to the Block Editor, it gives us the ability to edit that block. And uh, by default, it's already selected, so if you just go to OK, here we are. Now, this puts us in, in the black and uh, white format uh, it was before, but now we have black background, kind of like a blackboard background with a white for... Uh, you know the color of the line. So what it does is it inverts, and it's just for some reason it's just a little bit easier to see it this way, especially when we're dealing with uh, certain layers or different colors. It's just a lot easier to see light on dark rather than uh, like a light line color, like maybe yellow or red on a white background. It's just a lot harder to pick that out. So. We're going to go ahead and stick with that format. We're going to change the paper space format to fit that too here in just a few moments. Let's go ahead and change this around a little bit. This is uh, our title block. And we're going to keep a lot of it intact. General notes, we're going to keep revision, issue, number, and date. We're going to keep it to firm name and address. We're going to do something different with that. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, erase it, go to the delete button on your keyboard, and get rid of that. If you go up to your uh, ribbon and go to the annotate tab, Go to the multi-line text. What we had was D-text or single-line text. This is M-text or multi-line text. We're going to click on that, and we're going to draw a dialog box out from the upper left-hand corner to the lower right-hand corner, and that's going to be a box that we're going to be able to put all of our text into. So if we scroll that out, click it, and it gives us the ability now to start typing in text. We're going to keep all the settings that we want up here pretty much the same, but we do want to select a, a text size that's going to meet our needs. So you may not have these text sizes. Mine happen to have, happen to be there because I was playing around with this a little bit. But if you don't have a text size that you're looking for, just type it in. What we're looking for is quarter inch text for this application. So if you type in 0.25 or 1 divided by 4 and press enter, it'll give you that text size. And what we want and think about the name that you might want to name your firm. I call my firm Enterprise Design and Innovations. Go ahead and type that in. It could be a name that uh, would include uh, perhaps your own personal name or, or something else that would have to do with the kind of business you want to, want to run, maybe a construction business or a design business. Think of a name, type in that name. And make sure, this is important, I'm going to be nagging you about this whole quarter, all capitals. We're not going to make any changes in our title block other than this. You'll notice that you know, the, the line above that doesn't have capitalizations, but everything we modify and put into a, a drawing format, we're going to make them into capital letters. So I'm going to call that Enterprise Design, Enter, Enter Five Prize Design. And Innovations. Okay, we like to have this centered, so we're going to go up here to our uh, paragraph portion of the ribbon, go to the center button. And we do have to make sure we highlight this. This is important. It's really easy to get tripped up in this. Highlight all your letters and then go to center. And that puts that there in the center. We're going to take project name and address. We're going to delete that. 
we're going to copy this. This is a, takes us to the modification portion of our home tab on the ribbon and allows us to copy it. So we're going to take Enterprise Design Innovations, go to the copy button on the modify tab. We're going to click in this corner, kind of a common corner, and this is going to be typical of AutoCAD and Revit. And it might be a little tricky right now, but we're going to iterate this a number of times in class in this process and how to do it. But what it's going to do is it's going to copy that text in the exact same location from here down to this box. So we're going to click on that corner, click on this corner, and then we're going to put in, just as a spaceholder, a placeholder right now, project name. Now we're going to do the same thing here. We have project date and scale. Get rid of those. Select them individually if you like, or all of them at once. Press the delete button. Get rid of that. Go to project name. Again, go to the copy command. Once you click on that, if you look at your command line, it says space, specify base point or displacement mode. And you don't have to change anything in the command line, but go ahead and click on this point here. And click on that point there, and it copies that text down here. And this text is really big. But we're going to change that text size. So we're going to click inside of that. Select all of the text. Instead of a quarter of an inch, we're going to type in three thirty seconds of an inch. Three divided by thirty-two. And then enter. And it makes our project name really small. We're going to stretch our grips out so it's a little bit smaller text box. We're going to select all that text again by clicking inside of that. Select all the text. You notice it gets kind of a kind of a blue background color. And we're going to make that yes. Yes, left justified. And so there's a project name. I'm going to move that up a little bit just to give us a little bit of, uh, of room. And we're going to copy it from this point to this point to this point. So it goes from project name to date. So D A T E colon. The bottom project name, we're going to call that scale, S-C-A-L-E, and colon, and this one, we're actually going to put in something. We're going to make this one inch is equal to one foot dash zero inches. So it's going to be a one to twelve scale. So one inch on the paper is the way that reads. One inch in the paper is going to equal to one foot on, your, on the object you're actually drawing. That's kind of like maybe a detail scale, but we'll get into scales a little bit more later. And along that same lines, let's go ahead and change date. Let's make the date uh, today's date. 1 slash 10 slash 2012. Oh, oh, if you get this, you don't want to enable auto stacking. Do not enable that. That's just kind of a pain in the rear, at least for what we're doing. And then type in 2012. Almost done. We're going to delete that. The sheet which is dtext, take this project name, copy it like we've done before, bring that down here, and what this box is allows us to do, and we're going to change that text size too, everything's been a quarter of an inch and three thirty seconds of an inch, but this one we're going to make a little bit smaller, we're going to make that three eighths of an inch. Oops. Not three eighths, but how about three sixteenths of an inch? And we're going to call this sheet number. Put a space or a return between sheet and number. Take that grip, move it over a little bit, center it. And that should be pretty close. We might have to move that a little bit if you do need to move it. Go to the modified uh, bar, up in the ribbon, pick a point out here and kind of move it around until that gets in its right spot. So that should be it. So far, that's what we're going to be doing. If we go to the last thing we want to do here is close our block editor. And yes, we want to save it. And now we have our title block template all ready to go almost. But we'll complete that in the next film.